What is up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to the official PV70 player ratings and the top 10 players have been announced and I'm super super excited to reveal to you guys who is the highest player on FIFA 17 in terms of player ratings and let me know what they think about this, it's, uh, it caused a lot of controversy, controversy and it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Do you think Ronaldo deserves a higher rating than Messi? I'm not sure because you know Messi and Ronaldo scored similar amount of goals. Messi won the Spanish League, the Spanish Cup, Ronaldo won the Champions League and the Euros. But you can argue that Ronaldo didn't have you know a much better season than Messi so I don't think it's justified but that's just my opinion. I think they should be on the same rating because they are two best players in the world. Ronaldo has some insane stats. 5 star skill moves of course, 4 star weak foot, 94 rated, 92 pace, 92 shooting, 91 dribbling, 81 passing, 80 physical, just an insane card. And Leon Maxi actually his stats are looking better than his 94 rated FIFA 16 stats even though he's just 93 rated. And just Messi, just get rid of that blonde hair, it's just not, it, it, it just doesn't look right. Messi with the big beard and the blonde hair, 4 star skill boost, 4 star weak foot. His pace but got a little bit downgraded from 92 to 89, but all his other attributes went up. Better dribbling, better passing, better shooting, um, and I think worse physical. So even though he's 93, 80 now and not 94 like FIFA 16, his uh, card is actually looking better. The third best player is Neymar. Do you think he deserves a 92 rated card? 5 star weak foot, 5 star skill moves. Wow, just what an insane player. He is really looking forward to playing a FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. Let me know what kind of series do you want to see on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. Of course, I will try out the new FOT Champions game mode, the squad building challenges, the foot draft, and of course, I will do a Rage to Division 1 series where I, where I build my squad up and try to reach Division 1 without buying coins or people points and with the awesome new game modes I think I will get into Ultimate Team a lot more than last season on FIFA 16 so Neymar's card uh, looks uh, fantastic and Luis Suarez is also now 92 rated he's the best striker officially on FIFA 17 and also in real life I think it's justified 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 90 shooting, 87 dribbling, 82 pace but but he has a very good physical attributes, so very strong so it will be very hard to, put, to be pushed off the ball and I'm very happy I'm very happy for this man Luis Suarez because he now plays uh, you know one of, for one of the best clubs in the world and he's winning trophies regularly and he deserves that with the amount of quality that he has it's just a shame that Liverpool couldn't build a better team around Suarez when he was at Liverpool because I'm sure that with a better team around him we should have and could have won the Premier League title Manuel Neuer, the highest rated goalkeeper I think in, in FIFA history, 92 rated in terms of you know the regular cards, no legends um, and uh, just an insane upgrade from 90 to 92 rated heads down he will be the best and most expensive goalkeeper on FIFA 70 so really looking forward to seeing uh, how he plays when I get my hands on him on Ultimate Team hopefully in the second part of FIFA 17 95 kicking 90 handling 89 reflexes 89 diving just amazing Gareth Bale also gets a big upgrade he gets a 90 rated card just look at those stats he gets a right wing card 4 star skill boost, 3 star weak foot, 94 pace, 87 shooting, 84 passing, 86 dribbling and when Ronaldo is out injured he's carrying this Real Madrid team and he's getting almost as good as Ronaldo Ibrahimovic gets an upgrade and rightfully so he had his best season ever at Paris Saint-Germain scoring more than 50 goals but the big disappointment is that he doesn't get 5 star skill moves Paul Pogba got 5 star skill moves, Latan Ibra doesn't get he gets just 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, but his stats are amazing. In the camp position I think he will be the best to use uh, even on carrier mode and on ultimate team because he, his pace doesn't allow him 
to get in behind, but you know he's he's a very strong player. So if you play with crosses to the box, uh, then you should play him in as a striker because he will bully defenders left, right, and center. Six foot five, 86 physical, 90 shooting, 81 passing. 85 dribbling, brilliant. Jerome Boateng, as I told you in the, one of the previous FIFA 17 official player ratings video, EA have now are now giving out 90 rated cards to the best players in each position. So the best goalkeeper is 92 rated, the best centre back is 90 rated, and it's Jerome Boateng, and I think it's justified because he's he's the best ball playing centre back in the world. And 72 passing, 79 pace. What a card, man. I wonder how much he will cost at the beginning. I think it he would cost like 200k or something like that. Just insane stats on Jerome Boateng. And of course, Lobar Robert Lewandowski also gets an upgrade because he had, again, his best goal scoring season in his life. Four Bayern Munich, three star skill books, four star weak foot. And they already started banging in the goals in the first round in the Bundesliga, 81 pass, pace, 81 pace, 87 shooting, 85 dribbling, what an insane player, really really exciting, and David De Gea, he also gets a big upgrade, he gets a 90 rated card, he's the second best goalkeeper in the game and, and according to EA in the world, and I can kind of agree with him, agree with them maybe Buffon should also be uh, in and around I think Buffon got an 88 rated card but you know because the hell is a lot young younger he gets a 90 rated card 88 diving 90 reflexes 85 handling 87 kicking 85 positioning wow just an insane goalkeeper the best goalkeeper in the Premier League in my opinion so these are the top 10 players on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team and I, I already reviewed all the other player ratings uh, in my previous videos they are on the channel so let me know guys what they think about Cristiano Ronaldo being the best player on FIFA 17 is it justified or do Messi and Ronaldo deserve to be on the same rating let me know in the comments below and hope you hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching see you later guys good night